All right, Radical Russ back here with our coverage of the High Times Cannabis Cup in San Francisco, or, well, close. Close enough, right? And uh, we've got a guest joining us here at the booth who stopped by, and he's got this great idea. First of all, he's the most eloquently named Russell Richardson. Yes, sir. I like guys named Russ. There's mm -hmm. something classy about that name. <laughs> and uh, you are running, and I hope I'm not too blind, but budpubs.com? Correct. Budpubs.com. Now, I know what Bud is, and I know what a pub is. Is it what I think it is that you're doing here? Yes, sir. It's just like a Bud bar. Just like a Bud bar. So you run a Bud bar or a way to find Bud bars? It's a directory, a free directory ah. of, of uh, Bud bars, that, and that includes medicating lounges, relief lounges, dab bars, whatever we're calling them, places to smoke weed socially. And that also, we have events, we have tours. Oh. So there's a lot of cool stuff on there. So how many states now do we have, uh, are you covering? Uh, right now, we're covering multiple states, but a lot of those states do include events. So they're business-related events. Like, I think, for instance, Green to Green. You know, there's okay. some events in Las Vegas coming up. Not necessarily social places to smoke, but social places to smoke, we have, I'd say, three states. Washington, Colorado, and California. Those are the real, you know, the, the, the dab bars and all that stuff really haven't hit the East Coast yet. Right. So, um, and really, it's city by city in California. Okay, and so as as legalization transpires, I mean, Oregon just got on the ballot, or is about to get on the ballot. Do you anticipate, you know, branching out to sure. other states? Sure, you know, I actually forgot one. We have the world-famous Cannabis Cafe in, go. in Oregon. So there's a fourth state, so. All right, budpubs.com, Russell Richardson, and uh, how long has this been going, this Bud Pubs? We're only two months old. Two months, so a brand new business, and this is, you know, what I like about marijuana legalization is it creates new business. It creates new jobs. How many people are involved with Bud Pubs? Uh, we have a few people working for us. Uh, the two main people are myself and uh, a guy in L.A. Okay. So um, we're the two main people. But we also have a lot of people that we're networking with. Um, Speakeasy uh, in Colorado has been really good to us about helping us out. Um, HTP Group in Vallejo, California. Yeah. Dake Van Extracts. We're working with a lot of people. So this uh, is this your first cup then as Bud Pubs, I guess? Yes, sir. And I also have a submission. It's called Iron Mike. Oh, so you're competing. I am competing. It's a new strain hybrid. In oh, So in the hybrid category. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Well, I hope I hope to end up with some of that someday, and I'll, I'll give you my own uh, interpretation. I'll make sure. All right. Russell, Rich Russell Richardson with BudPubs.com. You can find out where, because this is a, a big problem, is that uh, you got your tourists who fly into Colorado wanting to smoke weed, and they go to these weed stores, and they can buy some weed, and then they get back to the hotel, and the so, hotel says, no, 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 no smoking. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to go outside, and they're like, no, 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 no public smoking. So this is the solution, it sounds like. Exactly. How about those tours? Do you cover the tours as well? Absolutely. A good friend of mine uh, who was just here, Jason, yeah. he just got back from Colorado on the Club 64 tour. They picked him up in a black Yukon XL with ah. tended windows with three joints in hand. And he was on the layover tour. So they actually have an airport layover tour if you're just stuck in the airport. <laughs> this is fantastic. I'm loving the changes that we get here under legalization, uh, taking things out of the shadows, creating new jobs, creating opportunity. And... If they really want to have uh, legalization work, they need to embrace us having a place to smoke it. You know, there's uh, some of the laws that are proposed allow uh, landlords, like in Oregon's law that we're trying to pass, uh, allows a landlord to ban smoking, in, you know, smoking of tobacco or cannabis in their apartment complex or their rental home or whatever. All right, well, if we're going to have that, then people got to have somewhere to go and it sounds to me like budpubs.com is going to be the place to look to find where that is absolutely it's smoking weed responsibly and socially that's what it's all about is there uh you have the website budpubs.com is there like an app for cell phones we're, we're coming out with an app uh for android uh apple's not too big on or iphone's not too big on the weed apps what? so that one got rejected boo now you know steve jobs he smoked some weed you know <laughs> I, I've heard rumors. <laughs> he did some stuff other than weed, too. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, these companies have come around, though. The money's going to get so big, they, they, they're they not going to you know be able to enjoy this bigotry much longer. The, the green will be too much for them to be upset at the green. Absolutely. that make any sense? The market yeah. wants it, and so do the people. <laughs> That's right. Russell Richardson from BudPubs.com. Thank you for joining us. Thank and you, uh, we'll have this up on YouTube. You can get a download of it, use it for your site, whatever you want to do. Absolutely. All right. Thanks for being here, and have yourself a great cup. Thank you, Back sir. to music here at 420 Radio.